Andrew and Christina bought their house in Durham, North Carolina two years ago. It wasn't their dream home, but it worked for them at the time. And it was close to kids Jackson and Olivia's school. We were under contract on a different house. It fell through. We already had to be out of our previous home, so we bought this house, closed on it all within a two-week span. Daddy, make it go faster. We figured we could make it work for a year or two, and we moved in. All right, start renovating. Some more squares. This is a fantastic neighborhood. There are lots of families, kids the same age. Ready? You just can't beat it. I mean, I'll give her that. And the house has been OK, but it's not ideal. It's time to find something else. I know Andrew doesn't like the house right now, but once it's renovated, I know he's going to change his mind. The house has a two-car garage. When you add bikes, lawnmowers, and our cars in there, there's just no way everything can fit. You can see how tight it is to park a car here. Wouldn't it be nice to have a larger garage to actually fit all our stuff plus our two cars? But we can get more storage in the current garage. It's definitely workable. The kids can't get in and out of the car. If we try to open a door, we're going to slam it into the other car. I can show you the dings on the side of the cars to prove it. The kitchen is small and dated. The cabinets are circa 1980. 1991. Well, they must have bought them in 1980 <laughs> and installed them in 1991. Cabinets don't even close correctly. There's eating for two when we need four. We need to bring it to the 21st century. Hillary could do that in her sleep. I think it'd be really great if we could open up this wall and just make a giant living, eating, dining area. Doing the renovation that this kitchen would need is going to be so expensive. We might as well just tear it down to start over again. I think we can find a house that fits our needs within our budget. I've got an amazing office, AKA my master bedroom. I'm a physician. Sometimes my shifts start really early in the morning, and it's just not fair to Christina. When we moved here, that was the quietest option available. There's got to be a better way. There's definitely other places we could move your desk. And the master closet, there's barely enough room to walk in and turn around. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Come over here, you see the master bathroom. The toilet doesn't flush correctly. The shower feels like a coffin. Tiles are cracked, the sinks leak. And you have to agree, that bathroom just doesn't work. We have a third floor, and it could get renovated. That would be a perfect opportunity to give us some more space. There is potential space here, I'll give you that. But even if we do that, I still don't see how we make this work for everything. Current value is $380,000. It sounds a little on the low end. Obviously, once Hillary does what she does, the value will go up. What is the must-have list to get you out of this house? Definitely an open kitchen, entertaining area. We want at least four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a bonus room for the kids, three-car garage, separate office for Andrew. And we would like to be in the same general area, but not necessarily the same neighborhood. So what is the budget for the new house? $550,000. That's going to be tight. If I have to move outside of this neighborhood, it gets actually more expensive. I think we can find a great place. All right, listen, I will do my best and see how it goes. So, the house itself is a lovely setting and it's just ripe for renovation. What's the list to convince you that this house could work, Andrew? First thing would be to open and renovate this kitchen. Make the garage bigger. Finish the third floor. Create an office for myself. Renovate the master bathroom. Enlarge the master closet. All right, what's my budget? Our budget is $90,000. Did you ever do any renovations, major <laughs> renovations in your life? I installed a basketball hoop one time. All I put right, it together. Don't, don't even go any further than that. I have to open this. Yes. <laughs> you need your own show in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ta-da. All right. So I'm going to drop it down, extend this way as far as I possibly can. I'm thinking around another 10 feet. OK. So Andrew considers this an absolute must-have to enlarge this garage. All right. So, now the kitchen has got to be a gut job. I want to blow out that wall, pull this island, shift everything down, because what they need here is storage. And, by the way, it has to be a really nice kitchen. But this is what we have to utilize, because it's so beautiful with the light and the view of the garden. We keep in the wood floor? Yeah, the floor seems to be in pretty good uh. shape. So, this will now flow into the living space with that wall gone. All right. So, here we are. Yeah. Office? Well, yes. It's Andrew's office. And it's also Andrew and Christina's bedroom. Oh. And so, clearly, that doesn't work. So, we have to find a spot, a dedicated area for Andrew's office. But I need to increase the size of the closet, increase the size of the bathroom. Obviously, I can't go this way, so I'm going to bring it into the room. And I will extend it to the outside edge of that window. That means that I can really give them a good size shower, then give them two separate vanities. All right. Completely new layout. Question. Yes. 
You showed me the garage. You showed me the kitchen. Yes. You showed me the blowout of the bathroom. Yes. yes. What's the budget? Ninety thousand. Setting up. There's more. Wow, Hillary! Great space. I know. Never ever would have thought this was here. Yeah. Can you imagine this is a game room? I'm gonna take a look in here. That goes all the way down there. A lot of room. Yeah. So I want to blow that wow. wall out. Pool table comes up here. A couple of chairs. Maybe I put a television up here as well. I just see nothing but options in this area. Problem is, I have no idea if that budget's going to make it. And I know that you wanted the garage widened, but we have issues. The issue is the setback. In other words, how close it is to the neighbors. And the setback just simply isn't large enough for me to be allowed to do an extension. But any cost not going in here is cost that I can now just put into the house. I agree with that. It makes sense. Good answer. I'm thrilled. All right, let's talk about the inside of the house. <laughs> Noisy door. We've only just started pulling your kitchen apart. Here's what I'm thinking. Instead of this pokey little so-called island here, yeah. I want to take advantage of these lovely windows and the view out. Put a great big island here. This wall comes down completely and it becomes part of the living space there. Perfect for entertaining. Absolutely. And of course, everything will be new. It does sound pretty exciting. Hey, I'm not done. I'm also going to take down the wall and expand the master bathroom and the closet four feet into the bedroom. It's going to be tight if my office is still there, though. What's wrong with you? Of course, <laughs> the office isn't in the bedroom anymore. Let's go upstairs right. and I'll go through it with you. So, here we are on this landing and that pool table simply doesn't work. I agree with that. So this is an area that I feel could be your office, which means I would bring in two walls and then I would give you doors and then you would have this gorgeous natural light coming in and you could spread into this with your office. That's never going to work. What is wrong? I read x-rays, so having all that natural light, that's going to be problematic. I had no idea about the x-rays. So right, I get it. <clears throat> It's okay. All right. We're not doing this anymore. And now I need to find an extra space for you that works. So we're going to go up to the attic. Right. Okay. My original plan was your pool table would come up here and it would be a real game room. Actually, this would work for my office. Well, yes. The fact that it's without light is really perfect, isn't it? This would work well. The problem with that, whether we put the pool table over there and the office here, we have to make sure it's cool here so that you can run all of your equipment. I have to reroute a lot of the power so that your budget just doesn't even come close to covering this. But we're saving some money with the garage. Is that maybe something we can allocate here? It never right. really was in the budget because I was shut down before we got there. What if we scaled back on some of the projects downstairs to make this space happen for his office? It's a good idea, but you need to understand what that means. Your dream kitchen now becomes the same kitchen you have, new countertops, because we've already taken those off. It'll look nicer because it won't be oak, wood, but that's the sort of upgrade you would get. And your bathroom, I've already demolished it, so we have to do that. I just wouldn't do the expansion. Well, let's just see how far our budget can take us. Okay. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make this work. This is a beautiful neighborhood. David's search for a forever home for Andrew and Christina is still a work in progress as he scours the area for more houses. I don't think this is the one for us. It needs a lot of work inside. Right, we got a bunch to look at today. Interesting entrance. It could use a little trim, but look at this house. I think that's as good as it's gonna get in this neighborhood. So what do you think? You've now seen what your money can buy you. What do you wanna do? If we go up to, to $675,000, can we get everything we're looking for? I think so. Let's give it a try. Get us in our dream house, David. All right. This is really close. We're like 12 minutes from your house. It's great. It's set on two and a half acres. Wow. Let's right, go let's see. Go. Come on in. These 10 foot ceilings? Yeah. It's beautiful. I like how it connects to the dining room. I've never seen a wall like this. This is what I've been looking for. Yeah, this is definitely right up his alley. Let's see more. Now I want you to keep referring back to your house, to what you can even imagine Hillary could give you. This is so open. Look at how great this island is. This is exactly what we've been talking this about. This is a great island. It's just so big and spacious. Nice big gas range. I love how it opens up to the backyard. You got all this mm -hmm. privacy here. Look, I don't need to see the rest of the house. You got me convinced. <laughs> Let's go see the screen in porch. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, wow. It goes all the way back to those trees. I'm going to stay out here if you guys want to keep touring the rest <laughs> of the house. This is perfect. A little bit of extra space width-wise. It's definitely an yes. upgrade from what we have now. You hit the nail on the head with this one. All right. Master bedroom is up next. Oh, this is nice. All the windows. Oh, Great beautiful. light in here. I love the ceilings. 
Is this a coffered ceiling? Is yeah. That, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that in a master. It's a great room. Oh, look at this tub. Isn't that amazing? It's got a good size shower, too. Like, it's nice mm -hmm. and deep. Pretty much exactly what we asked Hillary for. Your walk-in closet. Oh, this is amazing. This is, what, triple, quadruple the size of our closet? Yeah, let's head upstairs. So we'll have a look at the kids' bedrooms first. Decent-sized bedroom. Yeah, it's big. Nice windows. This would be Olivia's bathroom. Oh, nice. Now, she would be sharing it with her brother who's next door. Isn't this an incredible bedroom for mm -hmm. your son? Oh, I love this. It's huge. Well, what do you think this house is listed at? It's got to be $700,000. What do you think? I would also say $700,000. This great house is listed at $679,000. And that's an easy negotiate down. Mm -hmm. And then you will have a house that gives you clearly more than what you're going to end up with, even yeah. once Hillary is done. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. So, finally. Yes. We're very excited to see it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. I love it. Is this Beautiful. our house? It feels so different, it feels so inviting. This is now, I think, a fantastic entertaining space. Fits together it pulls, much better than what we had. Yeah, it pulls everything we had together so much better. It's yeah. amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. OK, so now, you ready? Going to look at the kitchen. OK. All right. OK, here we go. OK, so your kitchen. <gasps> wow. Oh, my gosh, wow. Doesn't it even feel bigger in here? It feels so much bigger. Countertops make a huge difference. The fact that we built this out and just brightening up all of these cabinets. And of course, you've still got a little eating area here. I'm definitely excited to entertain here now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're into your master. OK. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It's no longer my office. <laughs> Now, this is a master bedroom. Wow, it looks completely different. And the whole place feels spacious, because it always was. It's a great big room. Happy? Very. Very All happy. right, because this is just, you know, a little teaser to get us into your new master bathroom. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. I think one of the biggest transformations is getting that wall down. Mm -hmm. and having this massive shower. It's stunning. Well, here's your table. This is amazing. This is so incredible. Well, let's start with your table. It actually works. <laughs> yes, you see? <laughs> so it's a whole new world. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's a nice place to hang out. We definitely have a space for the grown-ups now. Mm -hmm. Can I check out the window? Of course you can. Now, take the two handles and just push out. Oh, and there wow. you go. And the children can come up here and it's safe. That is awesome. Wow. This is, oh, this is so neat. This is perfect. You know, as dark as I need it to be, but I like how the door is glass, so if I want to let some light in from the other room, I can. Yeah, absolutely. David showed Andrew and Christina a home that has an open kitchen and entertaining area, four bedrooms, including a large ensuite, an office for Andrew, and a wider garage. But even after two budget increases, he was still over. Hillary couldn't give them a wider garage, a bigger bedroom closet, and she was only able to give the kitchen a facelift. But she transformed the third floor into an office for Andrew and an impressive game room. Decision made? We made a decision. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're going to love it. Oh, how great! <laughs> Why did I show you the perfect house? David, you, you did do an amazing job. Yes. But I just have to say that, Hillary, this is so above and beyond even what we expected. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so wonderful. We're so close to where we need to be here that we just, staying here just makes the most sense for us now that we have um, such an amazing place to live.